It's time to fuse Pokemon with Digimon. Let's see how we get on. Hey guys, I'm Greenfire and welcome back. Today, we're going to be fusing Pokemon with Digimon, like I said at the beginning. So pretty much, this is going to be pretty fun. <laughs> so pretty much if you didn't know, I did a poll on Twitter asking you guys what three things do you want me to do a fusion on? So pretty much the options were Pokemon Digimon, fuse them together, Doom Guy Master Chief, fuse them together, or Godzilla and King Kong. And pretty much you guys, as you can see in the title, you voted for Pokemon Digimon. So, yeah. Hey! So that's pretty awesome. Maybe I'll do the other ones in, uh, in the future. You never know. Who knows? I guess we'll just see how this one gets on and, you know. So pretty much, um, what we're going to do, I'm going to set a few, kind of little few kind of rules. So pretty much what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to pick, Dig I'm going to pick Digimon and Pokemon. So pretty much Pokemon from Gen 1. So pretty much, I'm going to pick Pokemon from Gen 1. And, but we're also going to pick Digimon from the first... Digimon Adventure, so we're gonna set that limit. So nothing from like Digimon Adventure Two or whatever. Yeah, you get what I mean. One of the things I also I realized pretty much is some of the research I've had to do is a little bit harder than I thought. I'm trying to make sure I yeah you know, find the right like ones and which combinations. But anyway, guys, we're gonna just dive right into it and get started. And uh, yeah, let's see how we get on. Alright, so, pretty much the first thing I was thinking was, okay, let's get Beedrill, draw a little bit of the body, and then start merging the head of Mega Capitanemon, and give him more horns. Beedrill is known for being a very vicious Pokemon in the series, so I thought, how can we make it look more vicious? More stingers. <laughs> so I took a few other things and beefed up. So obviously, you kind of feel, most people know that Beedrill has very skinny arms and legs. So I thought, well, Mega Carbotarium has armored legs and arms. Give Beedrill four of the arms, and also to make him a little bit faster because Mega Carbotarium literally has like I think it's like a little booster that comes at the back that I've seen in the series. So he doesn't really need the wings because wings is the big massive shell. So he's got. Tons of defense and a lot of attack with this form. And I will be honest, guys, at first I wasn't 100% sure how exactly I was really going to go about this because they're both kind of different insects. One's a bee, one's a beetle. Plain and simple. Um, I kind of want to think, um, I gave pretty much Bee Drill the little pincer bits at the front. From Mega Potemon, I didn't go for the mouth because I kind of wanted to still make it look. Uh, I kind of like the way Beedrill is. It's kind of motionless. You don't really see the mouth. It just looks like a killing machine of an insect, which is pretty cool. Um, I guess the other reason is why did I go for them? Is because I haven't seen anything like this. That's why. Um, so as you guys can also see right here, I was deciding on what kind of color palette to gonna go for, but then at the end. At the overall, I kind of realized that there was a lot of Mega Capitanemon, so to kind of give Beedrill a bit more that's him, I kind of went for just the Beedrill colors. But obviously, I had to kind of make up some of the colors, because obviously, I colored the back yellow, because it's kind of part of the whole butt of his back. I obviously kind of copied the, I kind of the color scheme for Beedrill. Anyway, I'm going to shut, I'm going to be quite quiet and let you guys watch the rest of this little bit. Alright, so now we get to work on a Pokemon that's known for being extremely difficult to control. 
Gyarados. Now, Gyarados, as a lot of people know of in Pokemon series, is a very short temper. Very. It is angry and pure. Now, there was another angry sea serpent from Digimon called Metal Sea Digimon, which was one of the Dark Masters. So, why don't we give Gyarados a massive upgrade? By literally. Now, we all know that Gyarados doesn't get Hyper Beam, of course, but now, with a cannon for the nose. He could do twin hyper beams. <laughs> so this one, I've got to be honest, guys. Um, obviously, doing this is the second one that I did in a row. This one was fun. I really enjoyed doing this. I will admit, uh, as you guys saw, guys, at the beginning, I struggled a little bit trying to get the right position with the head a little bit. But I kind of went back over, fixed a few little bits, and then I was quite happy. So I was fiddling about with the nose quite a lot just to get it looking right in my perspective it's like that noise it troubled me a little bit but as soon as i got it to the right way i was to look i was really really happy with it so as you guys can get to see i gave the metal mo all the metal and added it to pretty much uh Gyarados. how could i forget the name i don't know anyway i also now the twin tails um from metal siege Mon, I gave Gyarados two tails, of, so yeah, twin, double the tails, double the firepower, yeah. <laughs> I gotta admit guys, um, I was really stoked because I saw a lot of the Charizard being drawn a lot with like Metal Grey and I went, why is there no love a little bit more for Gyarados? Gyarados is one of those big, he's always a big threat when he's out, always. So, I'm gonna go quiet. Let you guys watch the rest of it, but this, I'll say, guys, this one, I really had a lot more fun. I had so much fun doing this one, so this was pretty cool. And there you guys have it. We have finished two fusions. And I gotta admit, this was interesting and something I've not quite done probably before. So this actually turned out better than I hoped. <laughs> so pretty much we did we confused B Drill with Mega Carpeterimon to insect into one big insect beast. Right, monster. <laughs> I don't know why I said beast, it's more of a monster, insect, monstrous insect. And of course we fused Gyarados, the big, pretty much the big Pokemon that pretty much in the anime in a lot when I remember, pretty much was the one that, yeah, one that was hard to control, very hard, and I thought would pair up quite nicely with Metal Seijomon, which was the Mega, Di which was a Mega Digimon from like the Dark Masters, if I remember correctly. But anyway guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This was definitely quite interesting. Let me know if you think I succeeded on this or maybe there was a Digimon or Pokemon you want me to fuse next time. Heck, maybe if this gets liked enough or stuff like that, I might do another two. Maybe I might do another two. Or maybe even throw in another third one. You never know. But anyway guys, uh, that's that's pretty much it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, please uh, please subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And obviously hit that bell if you want to see more videos like this or more kind of fusions. But I'll probably do more kind of fusion things in the future. Don't get me wrong, I definitely will. Obviously with some different characters. But if you want to see stuff like this and not miss it like in a poll on Twitter, then follow me on Twitter so at least that way if you see that I am doing a poll, you don't miss it and you do get to see your favourite two characters fused together into something pretty cool. So thank you guys so much, you guys have been awesome. I'm Greenvi, there's Village back there, and Cutesy, and yeah, 
See you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. You can also check me out on social media on these platforms here. I also have a shop you can check here and you can check out these videos to see more content like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys later.